Hi, my name is Joshua Cartwright and this is Harrow Library's Storytime. I'm going to be reading you Slinky Malinky's Early Bird with words and illustrations by Linley Dodd. And we've got Peng Puffin to thank for this. So, as you can see, Slinky Malinky is a cat. So all of you who have cats can probably work out where this is going. Early one morning, when all were asleep, Slinky Malinky decided to creep out of his bed in the shadowy gloom and off on the prowl by the light of the moon. Past the piano and wickerwork chairs, he silently padded to climb up the stairs. He said as he slipped through each door to wake up the family. One, two, three, four. He, he purred in their ears. Can you see that? If you have a cat, you'll, know, you'll get used to that. And he pounced on their toes. He bristled his whiskers and tickled each nose. What's he trying to do? Can you guess? If you're watching this, can you guess what Slinky Malinky's trying to do? Pesky old Slinky, the family moaned. You woke us too early, they grumbled and groaned. Please leave us in peace for an hour or two. But Slinky Malinky knew just what to do. He bounced like a ball. <laughs> And he played hide and seek. Can you see what happened there? That's why if you've got a cat, you never put a vase on the, the shelf. He sang yowly song. And he smooched every cheek. Can you see what's happening there? He tipped over lamps and he sat on their heads. Oh dear. Can you see it's getting brighter outside? until he had pestered them out of their beds. They mumbled and moaned as they stomped down the stairs and they flopped into chairs. Oh, they grumbled and groaned as they flopped into chairs. We wanted some peace for an hour or two. But Slinky Malinky knew just what to do. He patiently waited, then turning instead, what did Slinky Malinky do? Slinky Malinky went straight back to bed. Wasn't Slinky Malinky clever? Thank you for listening and please look out for other stories.